Hello, good morning to all. In this video class, we are going to study the topic plan family U4 BFC. Actually, this is our fourth family. We already discussed Malvaceae, Rubiaceae, Apocyanaceae. So, this is the third plan family U4 BFC. When we move into the systematic position of this family, you can see that it is come under the class Dicotridens, subclass Monoclamidae series unisexuals order u4bls and the family u4bsc and this is the family having large number of one of the larger number of species and you can see approximately 28 genera and 7300 species are found among species are found in this family when we move into the examples of this family i think you are very much familiar, familiar about these plants in first plant you can look at mercursor you can see euphorbia herta this is euphorbia herta you can see a lot of this plant in our uh, college campus and like that you can see euphorbia tirucali it's a green color you can see a uh, much branched plant like here and third one when we move into the third case, this is a croton plant, croton petra. This is called Philanthus amaris. This is called Philanthus amaris. And like that, you can see the last one, Resinus communis. And this, uh, and this case, Philanthus amaris, you can see this Philanthus amaris in Malayalam. We, we, we call it as Kiarnelli. And this is commonly used for, uh, in Malayalam, we are using Manyapita. We are using uh, commonly we are used for the disease manyapita and when we move into another example pedilanthus this is called pedilanthus and this is called euphorbia titimaloid this is called pedilanthus titimaloid and you can see uh, the flower and the inflorescence of this plant you can see like a parrot and this is called euphorbia pulcherima you can see the attractive colored part of this euphorbia pulsarima. That is why it can be used as an ornamental plant. And this one, this is called euphorbia heterophylla. And this is one called acalypha indica. And you can also see the plant acalypha hispida. In Malayalam, we call it as a puchaval because its inflorescence is called catkin. I will show the diagram of that acalypha hispida later. And you can see another example of this plant family that is called Philanthus complica nilica. And you can see another plant, Euphorbia splendid. And this is an uh, common, it, this is a commonly used ornamental plant. You can see the uh, Euphorbia species of this plant, this Euphorbia splendid in our college. So this is about the few examples of Euphorbia. Say. You can also see the Another examples when we when I discuss the economic importance of this family during that time I will show a few other images of plants coming under this family also. When we move into the vegetative characters, when we move into the vegetative characters of this family, you can see some plants are herbs and some plants are shrubs and some plants are tree also. For example, Euphorbia herta, Euphorbia heterophylla, these plants are belonging to the herbs because they are tiny plants. And when we take the case of Euphorbia pulcherima and Euphorbia splendens, they are somewhat shrub. They are not tree, they are not herb, they are shrub. And when we take the case of Resinus communis, Philanthus emblica, that is gooseberry, and Hevia brasiliensis, is rubber tree, these are all comes under the category of tree. So when we move into the root system, we know that this plant is comes under the class dicotridon. So actually the root system is called tap root system. But some members of this plant can propagate, can cultivate by stem cutting. So we know that in stem cutting, roots are emerging from the stem. So you can see the adventitious root also in some members. And like that, some 
roots store food material in the form of starch so you can see the tapioca manihot esculenta plant manihot esculenta this plant is called tapioca plant which come under this euphorbia say that shows veget that that's the root of that plant store food material in the form of starch so some root store food material in the form of starch also so when we take the case of stem stems are usually herbaceous and some stems are woody because the plants are also uh, tree plants are also found in the family and most of the plants are erect they are they are they are existing vertically upward that is why they are erect and some members of this plant family shows a special type of modified stem such special type of modified stems are called phylloclade for example when we take the case of euphorbia roeliana here the stem is modified into a green flattened structure for photosynthesis so that is an example for phylloclade if the stem is modified into a green flattened structure for photosynthesis such kind of modified stems are called phylloclade it is the special features of the xerophytic plant because it is a xerophytic plant come under the family of euphorbiaceae so when we case take the case of leaf the form and position of leaf may be variable for example if if you look at the previous picture or image you can see euphorbia and that euphorbia the leaf is modified into spine to reduce the rate of transpiration whereas in some plant that shows a well developed leaf so that is why we can say that the leaf the form and position of leaf may be variable and their phyllotaxy in the arrangement of leaf on the stems are either alternate or opposite when we take the case of euphorbia herta its phyllotaxy is opposite whereas in pedilanthus the leaves are arranged alternately in pedilanthus plant in some area of the stem the leaf shows alternate phyllotaxy whereas in some other area the leaf shows opposite phyllotaxy when we say accurately we can say that alternate arrangement of leaf are arranged in the lower part of stem in pedilanthus whereas opposite phyllotaxy are found at the floral region of the stem so this is about pedilanthus so the phyllotaxy may be alternate or opposite like that when we case a type of leaf normally the leaf of euphorbia is symbol and in some cases the margin of symbol leaf get enfolded but the enfold but that enfolding never touch on the mid rib so we can say that the leaf get enfolded or not enfolded in both the cases the leaf are the leaf is the leaf is, the leaves are called symbol leaf because that possess only single leaf lamina and in some plant i already told you that in some plant leaf is modified into spine and in some other plant the leaf is modified into cladode leaf is modified into cladode whereas in some in most of the cases the leaf shows stipule that is why we can say that the leaf of euphorbia are mostly stipulate that is stipule is present when we take the flower floral arrangement inflorescence etc you can see in this diagram you can see the leaf arrangement opposite phyllotaxy inflorescence of euphorbia herta this is the diagram of euphorbia herta you can see the inflorescence this inflorescence you can see look at my cursor this inflorescence is called cyathium inflorescence the main features of this cyathium inflorescence is that that inflorescence contain bract an outer cover of bract within that bract you can see a large single female flower having only carpel whereas all other parts calyx corolla and rhizome are absent 
so this is a single flower having carpel and that carpel possess a pedicel leaf stalk it is a female flower having only carpel so this is the pedicel of a female flower this is the carpel ovary stigma here the style is very much reduced so in this cyathem inflorescence you can see a single large female flower having only a carpel with ovary and stigma not style and this single flower is surrounded by numerous male flowers and that male flowers contain only andrisham that is especially that male flower contain only single stamen and that stamen contain to that stamen contain one anther anther connective and filament that is anther connective and filament you can see and you can see the base that is, that is the flower stalk because it is a it is a male flower having pedicel over that pedicel only single floral part that is one stamen so it is a male flower having single stamen so let us move into the inflorescence and you can also see the floral diagram here one two three four five here the bract or involucre are five in number that five bract get united together and form a couple like structure within that cup like structure you can see single female flower having only one carpel with ovary and the stigma no style and around that female flower you can see male flower with only one stamen that is the structure of cyathean inflorescence and the, this is the floral diagram of this whole inflorescence and you can see the five bract get united together and you can see also see a single single ovary single ovary that is female flower here you can see the male flower you can also see the male flower this is about the floral diagram and when we move into the inflorescence you can see the inflorescence are mostly cyathean inflorescence i already explained what is cyathean and in few plants you can see racemose and cymose inflorescence that is in very uh, few plants only mostly cyathean inflorescence are found and in case of acalypa histrida that is puchaval you can see the inflorescence that is called catkin inflorescence and this is the details of cyathean inflorescence i already explained and this is the this is the details of cyathic inflorescence having male and female flower and all those details are explained I, the, all those details are already explained so let us move into our flower the flowers are usually incomplete because i already told you that the flower are male and female flowers are separate so if a flower is said to be complete it must contain calyx corolla and decem and gynecium in case of cyathic inflorescence males and female flowers are present but in case of male flower only stamens are present all other parts are absent in case of female flower only carpel are present all other parts are absent that is why the flower is incomplete but they are actinomorphic and hypogynous actinomorphic means we can able to divide into two equal half passing through the floral axis that is why it is called actinomorphic and the ovary is superior that is why it is called hypogynous in nature and i already told you that calyx and corolla are completely absent that is why this plant this flower is called incomplete flower and like that perianth consisting of four to five petals perianth actually the symbol unit of perianth is called tepal so perianth consisting of four to five tepals not petal it is an incorrect tepals usually the estivation is valvate valvate estivation are found in case of this perianth or involucre or bract they are arranged in a valvate face to face manner and flowers i already told you that flowers are unisexual male and female flowers are separate and when we take the case of andrisium I already told you that calyx and corolla is absent. And rhizome, that is stamens. It contains only one stamen that has three part and the filament and connective. Whereas in some plants, it may be varied. 
let us move into the details of when we take the case of aderism in case of euphobia herta that aderism is made up of single stamen because in case of euphobia herta if cyathen inflorescence consisting of male and female flower separately that male flower contain single stem whereas in case of resinous communis species or resinous communis or resinous any resinous species you can see five stamens whereas in case of jatropha that consisting of stamens having two words of five each like that the number of stamen may vary in different species of this euphorbia say but in case of herta it is single stamen is only one when we move to the gynecium when we case of, when we take the case of euphorbia herta its female flower contain single carpel or single single pistil and that carpel are sorry that gynecium or carpel is trilocular and superior and the placentation is axial in nature whereas in some other species the carpels are tricarpellary syncarpus also so when we move into the type of fruit found is in this family they are called tragma and in case of philanthus emblica there is gooseberry its two piece called its its fruit is called drupe and you can see the the diagram of tragma fruit here you can see the uh, movement of cursor so you can see the tragma fruit actually it is a fruit come under the category of schizocarpic fruit i think you studied the schizocarpic fruit in taxonomy and the seeds of this family are usually endospermic or albuminous seed having endosperm here you can see the floral formula of different of three plants here when we take the case of euphorbia herta you can see the male and female flowers are separate so here the male and the female floral separate so you can see the floral formula first one male calyx 0 corolla 0 and rhizom 1 rhizom is absent like that in case of female flower the floral formula like this female calyx 0 corolla 0 gynecium 3 with superior ovary and its symmetry is actinomorphic also like that when we case the case of resinous and cotton you can see the floral diagram here male and female calyx 5 here calyx 3 here corolla 0 here corolla 0 here antrichum 5 here gynecium 3 and superior so this is a floral formula of euphorbia and resinous and you can also see the floral formula of cotton also so when we move into the economic importance of this plant family some plants are used as food for example in the case of manihot esculenta its underground stem is used as food like the philanthus emblica gooseberry its fruit is used as food and also for the for the preparation of pickles like that some plants are used as a source of oils for example when we take the case of jatropha plant that can be used as a best source of biodiesel and like that castor oil taken from the seeds of resinous communis also the best source of oil like that some plants are medicinal also for example when in the case of kiarnelli that is philanthus amarus that is used for the treatment of jaundice like that the leaves and the root of jatropha gossypifolia are employed in the cure of leprosy and snake bite like that rubber heavy abrasive lenses used for the protection the rubber 
actually rubber are obtained from this fewer resiliences and you know the uses of rubber few plants are ornamental also for example i already exhibit the diagram of euphorbia pulcherima codium variegatum and euphorbia typically these are all example for ornamental plant belongs to this family so this is about the plant family euphorbiaceae thank you